In this video, I'll show you how to clean the thermal paste off of your CPU and cooler. Now, before we get started, it's important to note that you'll need a couple things. The first is cotton rounds. This makes it really easy to get the thermal paste off it without it leaving a lot of residue. The second thing is rubbing alcohol. Now, while this rubbing alcohol says 70%, you want at least 90% or above. I just reused this bottle, and ultimately this is actually 90% rubbing alcohol. Now with that in mind, let's get started. First we have to take off the cooler from the motherboard. With the cooler off of the motherboard, now we just have to clean each one. I'll first get started with the motherboard. You'll want to take a cotton round and put some rubbing alcohol on it. You just want to rub in circular motions to get it off. You might have to use more than one cotton round to be able to get it all off. It's important to use rubbing alcohol because as you can see, I'm getting really close to the electronics here. Rubbing alcohol evaporates quickly, so this reduces the likelihood of rusting as well as short circuiting if liquid touches the various components. So while we're talking, you can see the rubbing alcohol slowly evaporate off of the CPU. Now with the thermal paste off of the CPU, you just want to do the same thing to the CPU cooler. Just take it and rub it in circular motions. So if you end up taking so much off of it that the cotton round is no longer useful, you just want to use another one and apply rubbing alcohol to that one as well. So again, I'm rubbing in circular motions to get it all off. Now you may not be able to get all of it off and that's okay. If you want to get a really good thorough clean, you want to use a toothbrush or a toothpick to help really get into the grooves. But for the most part, a cotton round works just fine. Now, if you're cleaning the thermal paste off of your motherboard, it's important to first clear off all the different components. So you'd want to remove the brackets as well as the RAM stick. Once all those components are off, you will then want to get a toothbrush and then apply the rubbing alcohol to the toothbrush and rub in circular motions onto the motherboard until you get this off. Ultimately, you can see that this motherboard is pretty clean. However, it wasn't always like this. It used to look like this. Now, to get it off, all I did was take my toothbrush, wet it, and then rub it in circular motions. Once thermal paste accumulated onto the toothbrush, I used cotton rounds to rub it off of the toothbrush and then continue the process until I got as much thermal paste as possible off. 